From staying outdoor in a village to staying in a wine barrel, here are my top 5 unique accommodation experience and we're starting right now. What's up travel heads, Brian here with Life of Beauty bringing you the best travel hacks and tips to prepare you for your upcoming travel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Some of us care about our accommodation, some of us don't. I've been on both sides of the stick, so keep in mind that this is about my top 5 unique accommodation experience, not my best experience number five california box shaped like a rectangle and it was just in a small little box i think it's even smaller than my room right now too it's just a bed and a small little fridge and nothing else there's really just a little room for you to walk and it's like a little view of just the window with curtains so it's like a little plastic window that you can see the whole view of the landscape outside but other than that the shower is outdoor which is really weird that's why it's on my unique list number four hostel in thailand my first hostel experience wasn't a bad one 12 bunk beds and not a rowdy crowd. It felt really clean and I even booked this off of Airbnb and I made sure it had a high rating. I had a lot of fun hostel mate where we would hang out and stuff. And there was also restaurants downstairs, like it was partially a cafe and a restaurant. So when I was sick from food poisoning in Malaysia, my first few days I actually ate at the restaurant that was downstairs and drank some smoothie. Not only that, like just across the street is the Taipei Gate, which is what Chiang Mai is famous for. So I was really in the center of what was famous. And the corner of the block was a four or three story Starbucks that I really enjoyed with a view that I got to use my camera to record. Number three, Vietnam Village. Staying overnight in a village has always been on my bucket list in forever. That was until it became reality. When visiting Vietnam, I've met up with a few friends where their family used to live in this one village. So I was able to experience this village life from my friend's family that still lives there. This was in Kamal, Vietnam. And having no Wi-Fi was okay with me, but the insect and nature was a bit harsh on me. Imagine arriving to a five inch centipede or like a three foot snake just 10 feet away from where you're gonna be sleeping at. Oh yeah, and I was actually sleeping in the living room where it's just a marble floor with not much of a padding and where it was like a 10 feet wide door that was just open yeah nature could just come in and out while i'm asleep which was really weird but we also had mosquito nets to protect ourselves from insects from coming in and biting us number two wine barrel i stayed in a huge wine barrel which was pretty cool but don't expect much from the inside other than a mattress which was really thin some outlets but that's about it there wasn't much inside that wine barrel other than fake grass and the restrooms were outdoors shared with other people and there was a lot of spiders there was a unique stay and that's what it was about it was a I was staying in a wine barrel a two-story wine barrel before we move on to number one on our list here are some honorable mentions that didn't make it to the list. My first Airbnb was really cool. It was my first time ever doing a European style where you have a room of your own, a private room, and shared bathroom with a few other people. We had a sink inside and a big bed. Yeah, we had to walk outside for the restroom, which was a very unique experience and a cheap experience when Airbnb was once first released. Another honorable mention is when I booked the last minute flight. The day I arrived to LA, I didn't have accommodation for the first day with my friend. We are here at Beverly Boulevard at Starbucks because we haven't booked our hotel yet and we just booked whatever it was a three and a half star i understand why it was a three and a half star it was just two big matches in a compact room for four people number one upper falls yosemite i can't wait to do this again imagine living only three hour drive away from this structure yosemite national park is amazing a few years ago i had the chance to wilderness backpack around yosemite for three nights and we stayed in some really unique outdoor experience the rules for wilderness backpacking was that we cannot be more than 100 feet from the trail we have to be far away from the trail we went off trail to set up our campsite and it was um up top of upper yosemite falls so but a few hundred feet away from it we'll wake up to a good breakfast walking a few hundred feet down to the upper falls and getting some clean water and boiling it and eating our breakfast there it was an experience that i will never forget especially when we seen a coyote from afar well what are a few unique accommodations that you've experienced let me know in the comment below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell button thank you and until then